Hi, I'm Michelle from Ruth's Hemp Foods and um, taking over for Ruth today, we're going to make a raw apple chia pie that's vegan and gluten free. So to get us started, we're going to make the crust. Um, you need a cup of sunflower seeds soaked overnight on your counter. You need 15 dates soaked overnight, again on your counter, and about half a cup of either raisins or currants, whatever you have in your cupboards. Okay, so let's get started. So to get started with the crust, um, we've just drained the sunflower seeds, uh, all the water out, and we're going to take five of the 15 dates which soaked on your counter overnight. I like to peel the skins off and also um, take the pits out before using these. Uh, just gives it a nicer texture. So that's what we're doing right now is peeling the dates and getting them ready to put inside the food processor to make the crust. We're going to start with the crust. I'm going to put all the, the sunflower seeds and the dates that you just peeled and pitted and about a half a cup of raisins into the food processor. And that will be our crust. blend it until they're almost smooth. Um, sometimes adding a little bit of water to this can really help make everything kind of stick together a little bit easier. Okay, so as soon as this is somewhat smooth, you can still kind of see some uh, shape of the sunflower seeds in there, but it's all kind of mushed and, and stuck together. Your crust is pretty much ready. And after blending, you just need to pour this into your pie plate. And this is where it gets a little bit messy. And you get to use your hands as this is your crust and you need to flatten it out and kind of spread it out inside of your pie plate so that it sort of res resembles a pie. So don't, don't be afraid to get dirty, just get right in there. Okay, once you've got this all spread out nice and evenly throughout the pie plate, you are ready to start making your filling. I just put this in the fridge for, uh, for now just to help it uh, start to set. So. There you go. Okay. While your pie crust is in the fridge, um, chilling and setting, we're going to get started on the pie filling. And what we're going to need here are apples, dates, walnuts, some chia seeds, a little bit of almond milk, some sea salt, and some cinnamon. So depending on the size of your apples, you're going to use three or four. We've got you know somewhat smaller apples, so we're going to use four of them, peeled and cored. Um, the rest of your dates, which you had soaking overnight, there should be about ten. Um, that are pitted and peeled. The skin's off about a quarter cup of walnuts. Uh, we're going to use three tablespoons of chia seeds. These chia seeds are awesome because they soak up moisture. They kind of bind everything together and they're virtually tasteless. So when you add these into a recipe such as a raw apple pie, you're not actually taking away from your taste, but you're adding a whole lot of nutrients. These guys are loaded in omega-3s. They've got more omega-3s, in fact, than salmon or flax oil. They've got more calcium than milk. They're also loaded in fiber. It's just uh, packed full of nutrients. And that's what we're going to add to this pie is a bunch of nutrients by way of chia seeds. So what I'm doing is I'm just soaking them first. Um, you want to use probably about twice as much water as you do chia seeds and let them soak for about five minutes until they get this kind of gel-like substance. Probably use a little bit more water in there. So while those are setting, I'm going to start peeling the apples. Okay, so now we've got the apples cored and peeled. We're just going to put them up and throw them into the food processor. And the dates. Walnuts, about a quarter cup. 
Yeah. Our chia seed mixture. Um, I didn't measure out a quarter teaspoon or whatever it was of sea salt, so I'm just going to kind of eye it. Okay, and also some cinnamon, and this you'll just add to taste, so we'll just start out with some, and a tiny bit of vanilla almond milk. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the almond milk because it's still pretty thick. The chia seeds really do a great job of, uh, of soaking up moisture. So also, at this point, I'm going to add a few more shakes of the cinnamon. Perfect. So you want to mix this until it's almost smooth. Um, you will see some like little bits of apple chunks in there, but that's fine. It is a raw apple pie. Okay, now we've got our filling. And simply just going to pour it over your pie crust. So you can see little chunks of apple still in there. It smells so good. Okay, I need some coconut. Okay. Okay, our pie is almost finished. Um, now you can get creative with your garnishes, but uh, what I like to do is a little bit of shredded coconut and some sort of berry, if it's, uh, as long as it's in season and fresh. Say we've got blackberries. It's awesome with raspberries or blueberries as well. So I'm just going to sprinkle on the shredded coconut and add some berries to this. Okay. Woo. And there you go, raw apple pie. Now it's best if you let it chill for about an hour or so, just let it set in the fridge and then serve and enjoy. Okay, so there you have it, raw apple chia pie. Totally vegan, totally raw, totally delicious, and very nutritious. So I wish you the best of luck in making this at home. Thanks a lot for joining us today.